Good evening, black spots. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to carve whatever you want into your neck, chest, and face without having to go to the ER. Now this carved effect has been floating around photos on the internet. I don't know if it's body paint. I don't know if it's Photoshop. But the photo that I used as inspiration slash reference will be listed in the description below. Let me tell you guys, doing this on yourself is 10 times harder. Okay, maybe not like 10 times harder. I don't know. I don't break it down into math than trying to do this on someone else. May your three-dimensional perception while looking into a mirror be ever in your favor. All the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to check me out on other social media, which we listed in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm sorry. Starting off by sketching out made you look using the NYX Cosmetics eyebrow marker in medium. I also had to flip my clips around because I did it in a mirror so it's actually technically backwards. But I just figured flipping it would make it easier for you guys to actually read it. And then going back and making it three dimensional. If you guys made like bubble letters as a kid, this should be easy. Around that, I'm just trying to do like a design of some sort. To me, it ended up turning out being a bunch of S's with holes in it. To start the shading on this, I'm using brown body paint and only filling in the three dimensional sides that face downward. In other words, these areas would be more shaded than the ones that are on top. I'm also doing the same thing for the trim and the holes that I created. And then going back in and filling in the other parts that we left open to the three dimensional areas using a light tan body paint. As long as you guys have everything outlined, you can start filling in the black now. For me, this made it easier for me to actually see what was going on and not be so confused by the different shading. And I'm filling everything in using black body paint. I'm sure filling in black is the most entertaining thing you have watched all day. I also decided I didn't like those lines up by my eyes, so pff, took that off. And I just wiped it off using a wet Q-tip. Back in black. Then using the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude palette and I'm using a dark brown and then just filling in like the edges of the darker shading we already have. This is just going to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of shading. I then took a fine artist brush and dark brown body paint and very lightly, very thinly outlined parts of the letter. Thin, fine little details are what's really gonna make this actually stand out the most. On the light areas, you guys can go in with a highlight using white body paint, same thing, thin lines. If you accidentally press down too hard, it's fine, you can always just blend it out. 